YouTube. Welcome to Ladybug Testimonies. Today will be astrology advice, astrology video for cancers, water signs. Um, <clears throat> we are still transitioning. We are in the third quarter of the Gibbous Moon here. Um, so we're still organizing, still getting things together, still looking things over here getting our groups together we will be moving into Capricorn by Wednesday so um, we will have a lot of stubbornness to be aware of within ourselves as well and around us um, leadership as well lessons stepping into the Capricorn moon and again happy birthday Aries this will be a general reading for cancers so um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't um, stepping if you would like a personal reading you can email me at passion t o o change at email.com that's passion to j to change at gmail.com you can also go on to Facebook for more of my personal journey, more advice as well. Um, that's Facebook at Testimonies at Passion, the number two change. Alrighty. Just making sure I got all the cards and everything. Stepping right into prayer. I want to take the time to thank the universe for everything that they do for me. Um... I'm going to take the time out for balance, for light, for vision, understanding. Thank you so much. I ask for balance. I ask for light. I ask for understanding. Thank you. For those who don't know me, I am a psychic, a tarot reader, and an empath and all I am a light worker and my passion here is to help people and spirits gain a peace of mind and balance and light yes I did say mine okay let's see what's the overall energy with you cancers here See what's going on with you cancers the overall energy is the hermit so a lot of you are still healing a lot of you are still not reaching out don't really want to be around anybody just really doing your own thing here not necessarily doing research but most definitely seeking self understanding seeking self love gaining knowledge for sure Letting go of toxic situations. And you're almost through with it. This is what this energy is. You're coming out of this. Because you are self-aware. Oh, a lot of you have been crying. And that's okay, Cancer. We know. We get it. And it's okay. It's okay. What's on you guys' mind, Cancer? We have the Magician. You could be thinking about Manifestation law of attraction trying to bring the goodness and the balance within your life some of you could be dealing with um some of you could be cooking okay. trying to persuade with cooking as well some of you could be dealing with some black magic gotta call it what it is what that is okay watch out for the ones that stuttering this is virgo energy so you're most definitely, you could have Virgos either around you, could have a Gemini you could be dealing with here on the mind, um, could be trying to balance out, communicate as well. What's on the heart space for you, Cancers? It's the Two of Rods. Changing perspective here. Trying to change how you feel. And we know, because we are, you are in hermit mode here, so... You are most definitely trying to get things together, trying to get your emotions together, trying to most definitely stay on the bright side. But a lot of you, when it comes to emotions, you could be still a little sassy. Okay. Some of you need to still heal. Some of you need to, to some of you need to actually go back 
a second. Rethink things. Because some of you are dealing with that black magic and trying to persuade people with cooking and food. and So some of you need to take a step back and go into prayer or meditation. However you release negative energy. We are in the moon of organization. So it's time. It's time to get yourself together. If you are manipulating, if you are the one who is persuading in a negative way, please stop. The overall conflict here for you, Cancers, is the Eight of Swords, trapped in fear, trapped of, you know, doing a lot of worry. So something could come in that may cause some worry. Some of you could be worrying right now, feeling trapped in a situation. Some of you are trying to get out of a toxic situation here, and you could feel trapped. And this is what could be causing the manipulation on your mind. Some of you think that you're being manipulated and really don't know how to get out have faith make sure you organize everything get everything together stay positive do what's right make sure there's a balance cancer makes it make sure there's a balance because some of you are holding back in this hermit mode and not expressing yourselves and not leaving the, the toxic situation alone but so a lot of you are a lot of you are this is a general reading take what resonates Leave what doesn't. The energy coming in in the near future is the seven of rods. And this is the same as what I'm saying. The overall opposition is worry. The energy coming in is coping. So if you are worried right now, if you really don't know how you're going to get out of it, you will be leaving that energy soon. Or somebody could be coming in to help you. But a lot of you cancers are building up that courage here. And you're fighting back without even fighting back. Some of you are really ready to start a new cycle. And some of you need to end a cycle. The most likely outcome. I did not show you guys the deck, did I? I will. I'm not really changing up any deck, so if you are cross-watching the deck that you saw in the first video that you watched, that will be the decks that I will be using throughout. The most likely outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. This is moving forward. This is hard work and dedication. This is reaping your rewards. And actually, the moon that, that follows the gibbous is the first quarter moon. And if I'm not mistaken, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is the Gibbous Moon. Some of you will be moving forward. Some of, some of you will be reaping your rewards here, Cancer. That's great news. Make sure it's positive. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself with the Six of Rods, with this victory and success here. But a lot of you are heading towards victory and success, and that's beautiful beautiful a lot of you will be taking charge putting your foot down going after your goals and your passions and and reaping that that reward the first quarter moon is reaping rewards it's also reorganizing readjustments but and not starting really anything new so if you're coming out cancers it's time to come out because the next moon is not going to be good to come out queen of swords at the bottom of the deck Strong communication coming in. This deck that I was using is the New Century deck. And we're going to dip into the spiritual advice for you cancers. Just know it's okay to cry. Some of you could be on vacation in this hermit mode. Some of you snuck out and went on vacation and it's around some water and some hot tropics here. That's how you went on hermit mode. And there is nothing wrong with that. But make sure things are for the best. Make sure you're balancing out things for the best. And I know with balance, there has to be positive positivity and negativity but when I look at balance through life I'm looking at it as 
if you know that you that person wouldn't give you a ride and you always lend, you're always lending out your hand. You're always being helpful, Cancer. You're always being that person that, that people that people can come to. And taking that self love back for yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. Building boundaries, there's nothing wrong with that. Telling that person you don't want to be their friend anymore because they did this, that, and the third with you, or you don't want to be in a relationship with that person anymore because they did this, that, and the third with you, and you that's not how you get down. That's okay. You're expressing yourself, Cancer. That is all right. There is nothing wrong with it, honey. If you never get up and, and express yourself and tell people how you feel, Cancer, and you sit there and you cry and you mope and you go on vacation, how are you going to go outside and smell the, um, the flowers? How are you going to be able to enjoy yourself? I'm sorry. If you have to tell that person, that man, that woman, that look, you really, you ruining my vacation. And I, I want to go out by myself for this evening. Do it. If that person can't take it, move on. Maybe apologize if it comes out too harsh. But you're speaking your mind. And every time is that time. You are not responsible for those person's feelings, especially if you give off your message in the most positive way. If you didn't intend for any negativity to come out, I, I suggest praying if you're going into an argument. But if you are going to tell somebody how you feel, pray anyway. But still, go in with, with, with an open heart. This is what I want, and this is why I want it. And I don't really want anybody to change my mind on that. This I'm, It is what it is kind of year. Spiritual advice for you, Cancers. I can praise abundance whenever, wherever I see it. Okay? All right. With an 11 at the top. Trust your intuitions. You got this, Cancer. Speak your mind. If you do, if you know you come off harsh, then don't. Go into that bathroom. Take a second or two. Go into the break room. Take a second or two. Get yourself together. Come back out like a grown man, a grown woman. Or come back out respectful. Because I don't know how old everybody is. The law of attraction. Uh, the law of attraction. Assemblies happy relationships. You want to have a good time? You want to enjoy your time at work? You want to enjoy your, your time outside? I will not try to control the uncontrollable. Don't try to trick people. Okay, Cancer? Don't try to manipulate and trick people because I'm a, I'm a, if, I'm, if I'm the first one to tell you, I will tell you. It's going to come back and bite you in the tail. And it may not even work. Because I'm kind of feeling like some of you cancers that is doing this black magic stuff, I'm sorry to tell you that it will come back and bite you in the butt. Trying to hold a, a relationship together through some black magic will come back and bite you in the butt. If God didn't intend for it to, to be yours, <clears throat> don't force it. It'll always hurt at the end. I actually have a video on Facebook testimonies, passion at passion, the number two change, and to where I talk about going to work for a business and God already told you not to do it, and you still take your tail down there and do it anyway, and you building up so much money because this, this job is just awesome and you want to do it and it has so much money and then you can invest from this. But if God has already told you no cancers. You can build all you want to. There will be a tower moment in due time. Tower moments are positive changes for the best, but they do not always feel good. Most of the time, they don't. Because it happens out of nowhere. You could have some Gemini or some Leo in your energy space right now. But some of you are trying to come out of hermit mode. Trying to gain that strength here. Trying to remain positive. 
trying to have a good time on your trip, which is beautiful. Have a great time. I hope you do. What's on the mind is a little bit of um, manifestation, law of attraction, manipulation. Some of you are um, creating this positive energy moving forward, communicating positive messages here. Even love messages. Mm -hmm. Don't be cheating, Cancer. Some of you could be thinking someone is cheating on you, though. Book a personal reading for me. We can get a little bit deeper. See what's going on here. Some of you are sneaking out, thinking about how to sneak out. But it's not in a sneaky way. It's actually, to, it's actually in a very positive way. You're trying to gain the strength to communicate, to keep things positive. What's on the heart space is you're slowly changing your perspective on things. Things are slowly coming around, even if it's people, even if the person that I'm reading for that may be on this trip, if you actually change the way, like I said, go into the bathroom and change the way that you view this person, change the way that you usually open up conversations, things could come out better. And some of you will. Some of you will take the advice. Some of you will take the advice and come out better. Some of you are already doing it. The opposition coming in is you'll be scared of the outcome. Trapped in fear. Let me tell you something. You don't have to stay there with the Eight of Pentacles. Leave. With the, I mean, I'm sorry. Some of you could feel trapped in a work situation. Let me let you know something. If you trust in the universe, if you trust in God, you can walk out of any situation with your head held up high because you knew that you were doing the right thing and they were doing the wrong thing and God is going to bless you. That's having faith. Some of you, the overall conflict is being afraid to open up and express yourself. Some of you are hot. Okay? Or got the hots for somebody. Or some of you could be feeling like a um, your significant other could have their eye on somebody else as well. Because they could be a big flirt. And we are dealing with some Scorpio energy, so you're either holding the overall opposition is holding back on how you feel expressing yourself or you could feel like somebody could be um, stepping out some of you do feel like your relationship your world is changing some of you know that this black magic is not working and it's not going to work but you're trying to see you're trying to stay positive about it the energy coming in is the seven of rods can you guys give me one second? I gotta cut off this heater. Some of you could be dealing with a divorce. This is the energy coming in. I wanna finish clarifying so you guys won't question anything. Um, but yeah, some of you could be dealing with a divorce. Some of you could be getting uh, there's a balance with things so some of you could be you know ending something ending a relationship but it's even like you wanted to keep the dryer that they'll let you but you have to open up and express that you want to stay friends they may want to stay friends they may and if I'm from what I see if you do stay friends it won't last that long but it will end Beautifully, you can always call this person in a sense, but though the, most likely nine times out of ten, there'll be no reason to call this person. But that 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 friendship window is open. It is the most likely outcome is the Eight of Pentacles, hard work, dedication, victory. Some of you are painters. That's beautiful. Victory and success. Some of you will be getting that promotion. Some of you will be getting hired. Some of you, this divorce that you could be scared of is actually could be really beautiful. <laughs> it could be really beautiful. 
or this commitment that you guys want to go into could be really beautiful. Court issue, this new love interest. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces here, Cancers. Yeah, some of you are dealing with this, uh, could be dealing with a marriage or a commitment here, feeling bound to a situation. Some of you are having some competition at work, having some mental conflict, trying to get past things. Some of you are dealing with a cheater. A fire sign could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And also some of you could be just going after what you want. Some of you already knew what you were getting into from the get-go, but you just wanted to take a try, I guess, take a leap of faith. And some of you are ready to just get out of it. A lot of you are ready to leave. If you seek financial well-being for yourself, you must praise it wherever you see it. If you would like more abundance for yourself personally or for others you care about, you must not criticize those who are experiencing abundance. When you criticize or condemn or push against anything, you attract an op opposing vibration to what you seek every time, no expectations. Sorry, no exceptions. I be trying to read too fast. I be trying to do a lot of things too fast. Ooh, some of you are healing. But you look like you'll be closing that door. Look at that. Some of you are healing. Getting over this betrayal. Could have been dealing with a cheater. Yeah. But some of you will be letting go and most definitely moving on. Some of you could have caught somebody cheating as well, somebody sneaking out. So be careful with that, Cancer. There, there is some sneaky energy here and a lot of betrayal and backstabbing and anxiety. Make a personal appointment with me. Yeah, make a personal appointment with me. Some of you have, <laughs> some of you some of you make a personal appointment with me okay please like comment and subscribe i love comments if you subscribe you won't have to look for my channel it'll come right to you bottom of the deck is the three of cups i apologize if i hurt anybody's feelings on here off of here <clears throat> i wish everybody well love and light And even when you don't think I'm praying for you, even if I don't know you, trust me, I'm praying for you. I pray for people I don't get to see a lot of times that I don't even know, but I can feel. Have a great day. Love and light. And don't forget to smile.